Wait, wait, wait. Why am I under arrest? Please do what we tell you or force will be used again. Why am I being under why am I under arrest? I was never even told. Dude, I was <laughs> trespassed from City Hall. You were issued no. notification. Dude, I was never I was never issued a notification. I was never ordered. I'm, everything's live stream. I'm on bail. Force may be used against you if you resist. Relax. I was never in City Hall. I was never in City Hall. All right, you guys. Sorry for this live stream like this, uh, the horizontal switch. But we have uh, the family of Patrick Hayes out here. We have Donna. We have uh, Dorothy Elmore out here, gaslighting victims of police violence. We found out that Dorothy Elmore, the head of security, is an, the ex Portland police chief. This is the ex assistant to the Portland police chief. She's the assistant. She's the ex. Portland Police Chief, she's now the head of security. Her husband, Vince Elmore, a police officer at the time, filed a restraining order against her because she said that she was going to kill him and, th and slice his tires. This is an insane person who, because I, of a police accountability activist that I am, I wanted to file a, a complaint against a police chief. I went in. She told security, IPR, that she was going to stand in the room with me and at the same time tried to gaslight me by asking whether or not she can film me and my kids at their school in response to words that another activist said. I didn't say it! What I said is I'm going to put your address on blast! Grocery outlet! Grocery outlet and the video is up there! Dorothy Elmer is a terrorist! She just... The pendulum is swinging! The homeless people in this city... This is where your living is! This is where your life is! This is where your income goes! It goes to funding terrorists and pedophile sympathizers they're killing black men. And they're calling the police on us right now. They're calling the police bureau. I don't know about us, but I do know that they're being called right now on Patrick Hammond's mother. We have Dorothy Elmore. Dorothy Elmore. Dorothy Elmore out here gaslighting victims of police brutality. Classic. Why don't you come out here, Ted Wheeler, and be a leader? Be a leader for the people. Stand up. For the people. If the people of Poland are afraid, it might be because you have psychopaths in office that are running the place. And they all know it. And they just want to get their benefits. They don't just want to get their pensions. We all know that the only good cops in Poland that are left are suing the city quietly and getting the fuck out of it. We all know that the rest of them are just going along to get along and eat their pensions. We all know that Portland Police doesn't want to have anything to do with this madness. That the politicians, the cesspool, that the politicians have allowed to get out of hand. Mark Kruger, where are you? Dorothy Elmore, what are you still doing employed? I want your pension. I want Dorothy Elmore's paycheck. It's ridiculous that Dorothy Elmore's here. It's ridiculous that we have so many poor people on this in the city of Portland. And we have a Terry Bean Day. Let's talk about Terry Bean Day, guys. Google Terry Bean and civil compromise. Just Google it. I don't, know, I don't want to remind you the compromises that the African-American woman has had to made, make to protect her family. Who they'll side with, who they'll talk with, the relationships they'll have. I want to remind you of the social engineers and the historical precedent that this state set when its constitution was created. I want to remind you that Martin Luther King visited the city of Portland, went to the Vancouver Baptist Church. And I, want to, and I want to let everybody know that the person that sits in that building right now is a gatekeeper for Portland's pedophile politician army, N-O-T-S-E-E-P-D-X, Nazi, and Kruger, where are you at? 30 times he was arrested and then Martin Luther King was killed. And now you have a pedophile in the church where he can't have visited. Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! 100% USA! FTP!
I said it's for the people. And don't forget it. Never, ever forget that. I know why and why, Mayor. I know what I'm doing. And I know what my future is. Or at least I think I do. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not looking for a hand. I've got, damn it, it's 2019. I am not going to believe that racism is over, Ted Wheeler. Right. I am not going to believe that racism is over, city of Portland. I am a person of color born and raised in the city of Portland. And I'll tell you what, my experience, the city has tried to kill me since I was age 11. And now that I know about it, I'm not going to sit and take it. Right now we have head of security, Dorothy Elmore, whose husband, a police officer at the time, filed a restraining order against her while she was the assistant police chief for Portland Police Bureau. Vince Elmore, the police officer at the time, filed this restraining order because Dorothy Elmore threatened to kill him and slashed his tires. As a matter of fact, when she got a promotion, there were officers in place that didn't like that. What secrets are you keeping, Dorothy Elmore? You've overstepped your bounds. It's time for the pendulum to swing. 1.7 million homeless people. Ted Wheeler. Hey, Chloe, you down late. If you need a black man to help you get out the boat, because I get out the boat. And I know you don't remember, but I do. September 26, 2016. Chloe you the experienced former organizer. Well, I've been as far east as Bangor, Maine, and as far south as McAllen, Texas. Since I was 17 years old, and I'm 39 years old today, that means over half of my life, I've described to a liberal, to a progressive, to a Portland narrative. A narrative I've had to adjust and fine tune a little bit. But since I've been born and raised in the city, and since it's raised me since the days of ACORN, the Associated Community Organizers for Reform Now, since the day of helping to certify the Working Families Party, yes, that's right, I led that canvas here in the city, Working Families Party, thank you, for you're, you're very welcome. I've come to find out it's going to be a life-long struggle. Even if I move to Cuba, everybody, even if I move somewhere where I'm safe, I am not going to sit and take it. And in 2019, we have the platforms, we have the means. Yes, we know if we're influential, they will take us off YouTube. They will take us off Facebook. They will take us off Twitter. But I say it. Say it. I. I want you to say it. I am a person. I want you to say it. I get out the boat. And I want you to say it. I don't need Facebook. I don't need YouTube to get out the boat. All I need is my voice and my knuckle so I can knock on the door. And, and I can say, hi, my name is Eli Ritchie. I was born and raised in the city of Portland. How are you doing today? And we can create a dialogue. And I can hit you with the pitch and tell you how we're trying to save the world. And I want you to be able to do the same thing. I want you to take what Portland has given me and I want you to apply it in every creative 
an individual, unique way that you're able to do. God bless you. God is good. And I want you all to know that. That I do love you all. My feet are in the dirt, and my head is in the sky. I am not going anywhere. You can call me flawed, but I'm going to keep coming back, and you're going to have to deal with it until you come up with a better version. You are going to have to come up with a better version. What do you think about that, Dan Hardesty? You think you can help them? Come up, you think you can talk to some of your white allies and help them come up with a better version for the next for the next time they destroy the planet we all come up again? God is good and evil is real. I want you all to live. I'm not even kidding, I'm not looking for a political handout. I think it's a fucking shame. It's a shame! Tell me what do you think? You have George Fiondo out here, gaslighting victims of police brutality. Is it time to celebrate? Is it time to celebrate? Open up the uh, champagne battles, bottles. Is it, up? Is it time to get ready? You guys partying tonight? You guys going to Rialto? Where is the party at? Where do, where's the Nazi party? The NLT SEE party. The Nazi party. Where's the Nazi party held? You know where you have psycho cops, pedophiles. The pendulum is swinging. I don't want you all to say it. Or at least recognize it. Because I say it. I, I am a person, and I get out the vote. Charles Johnson gets out the vote. What's up, buddy? What's up, Charles Johnson? Hey, Ted Wheeler, are you afraid of Charles Johnson? Are you afraid, guys, that you got wider throat, you got a voice throat, but he's white? Better watch out. Better watch out for John. Charles Johnson. He might throw water on you. You better watch out for Eli Ritchie. He might film you and then talk about you on a social media platform. You better watch out for Eli Ritchie. But Paul Johnson is okay. Paul Johnson is okay. Mimi Sum is okay. George D. Elmore is okay. The city of Portland is trying to kill me. And I'm not going to pay attention. What's up, boss? You know, I'm on your side, but I don't Thank you very much. I think I'm on your side, but I don't think you're achieving much. Well, I don't care what you think, because Martin Luther King was arrested over 30 times, and he was killed, and I'm picking up his fucking legacy. <laughs> the city of Portland is trying to take me, and I don't care what anybody cares. I'm 33 years old now, and I'm not going to be bamboozled into believing that what I'm doing is ineffective. Because the first time I ever uploaded a YouTube video, it only had one or two video views. And then the second time I uploaded a video, it had 10 views. And then the third time I uploaded a video, it had 50 views. And then all of a sudden, I started getting a view per minute. And then two views per minute, and it all came to an end. And I was like, what happened? It's called shadow banning. It's called when you have the ability to expose truth, they will deplatform you. They will stop me, no. Matter of fact, today I see real people out here. When I go live, I see real people come out here now. And that's way more powerful Eli. than seeing a view. Eli, look like I said to you, everybody, the only terrorist that we've ever seen here in the city of Portland. We have a sergeant here. Remember, the, re the, uh, the role of the sergeant is to enforce the civil rights violations of the officers and always defend them. We have Dorothy Elmore, 
Don't watch out, Sergeant. She might kill you. She might kill you, Sergeant. She might kill you. She might kill you. She might slash your tires. You might have to get a list. You might. She might go to your school, your kid's school one day. Hey, Sergeant. She might go to your kid's school one day and film them. How do you feel about that? How do you film about Dorothy Elmore filming your children at their schools? How do you feel about, I feel about that? I hate the idea. I think the idea is absolutely fucking ridiculous. And the reason why I stopped hanging out with Robert West when he said it, but I didn't tell you guys that, because information is valuable, and we have an information war. You guys can see, we'll take whatever you want. But God damn it. Why is that? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I under arrest? Please do what we tell you or force will be used against why you. Am I being under, why am I under arrest? I was never even told. Dude, I was trespassed from City Hall. You were issued notification. Dude, I was never, I was never issued a notification. I was never, I was never I, everything's live stream. I'm on bail. Force may be used against you if you resist. Relax. I was never in City Hall. I was never in City Hall.